three. Oh, now it's showing numbers. Oh, okay, I have to start over because I thought I was taping and I wasn't taping. Okay, what I was saying. Okay, I got to start over because I don't know what I was saying or what I was doing or nothing. I know nothing. I was doing something and I thought I was taping, but I wasn't taping. Okay, now what I was saying though is, last night I did a live video, and I was doing it actually on my around the world journal, postcard journal that I'm making. But and and I was carried away with that. But then at the end, I was kind of talking about my lace collections that I got in my Etsy store because it's like my advertisement, you know, sponsor. <laughs> but anyway, and so I was showing some of the laces that I had. And so, like, for instance, this one's not up yet, this style, but it will be. I'm hoping to put this up today is to make little collection out of this lace. I don't have much of it left, so I don't know how much of a collection it's going to be. Now, and then I was telling everyone about these little baskets that I made. I, I, it, it's been a long time since I made one. This one's kind of all smashed up because it's been packed up. But, um, it's just a little, it's got a bar of soap in there. And it's just a little basket made out of washcloths, lace, embroidery. Uh, now, what I'm going to, what I have now, I want to make a lavender one. But I don't, oh, let me put you to the showroom floor. I want to make a lavender one, but I don't have lavender washcloths in my la washcloth stash. So, I'm just going to use two white washcloths. Two white ones. Now, what I do is I buy my washcloths from the Walmart. because, And you might be able to get them even cheaper somewhere else, but I get like... 18 washcloths for three dollars and something or four dollars or something i know they're not much money and so what i will do first is i will cut these tags up because i don't want them tags on there so i'll just snip those off of there and um show you the first i get to use my new glue gun today i got this plugged in and it's yep it's warming up i got that i got that from um Deborah sent that to me, and and she even sent me the glue. It's got these big fat glue sticks, so that will be nice. So I don't, the glue will go quicker. Okay, so now I got that heating up because I'm gonna need that. Okay, so step one, you lay the two washcloths down. You lay them down. Now see if you were to have, you know, like on this one I used a blue one and a white one. Now, I don't have the lavender, which I want to make, so I'm just going to use two whites. And so I'm going to roll this top one up, and I'm going to roll it to the middle. Then I'm going to roll the other side and roll it to the middle until they meet right there in the middle. Then leave it sitting right there, and then take that next washcloth, and you want to roll it. To meet the first one that you rolled. And then do the same here. Now see what it looks like is you've got four tubes. It looks like four rolls. Now see you can see there how it would look different if you had the two um, different color of washcloths. But you can use any kind of washcloths you like. Any, and so then the next thing I do with this is I just hold it nicely and then turn it over. All right. Now it's when I need the bar of soap. Usually I get just the small bars of ivory soap. This one's a Jergens. And I lay that bar of soap here. Now, if you had, where did I put my strine? Oh, here it is. Now, if you had rubber bands, a rubber band would do just fine with this too. But, um, and I have rubber bands just lost them. You know what I did yesterday? I lost my camera. 
well, I didn't do it. I don't know when I lost it, but I was looking for it yesterday, and I couldn't find my camera. Well, I needed my camera. I got a camera on my telephone. Everybody's telephone, smartphones got cameras. But um, I looked everywhere. Well, apparently, I didn't look everywhere because I didn't find the camera, so I didn't look in the place where my camera is. But my camera is a great big old honking camera. Anyway, I didn't really like it. So I sent the hubster to the Walmart, and I told him, buy the cheapest camera you can find. So he did. He bought me this. It's like a little Vivitar, and um, and it was 39 bucks over there to the Walmart. So I got me a new camera because I lost the motor room. But anyway, see, so I lose things. So I'll probably have to buy new rubber bands. Okay, so I'm going to take this string now, and what I do next with this is I take this string, I'm using embroidered floss. Of course, you can use anything that your little heart desires. Now, you pull those two ends up over the bar of soap like this. And then this is where it's nice if you have a rubber band because you can just rubber band it around. But um, as I say, my rubber bands are probably with my camera. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just take my string and I'm going to tie this. I'm going to tie it, I'm going to pull it tight, and maybe I should have wrapped it around twice. I used to make a lot of these, and then I'd sell them, because I used to go to these little craft fairs and stuff, and but I don't do that no more, because I can't, because I'm old. <laughs> okay, so there's what you got so far. You've got the two washcloths, the bar of soap. And you've done tied it tight with a string. Maybe I can write, ring this around the back too and tie it again. Just to be sure that it's nice and tight. Just to be sure. Give the extra little knot there. There. Now. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is this is um let me tear, cut them apart maybe i shouldn't cut with these scissors i'm gonna ruin my scissors i don't have my big honking scissors in here okay so i cut these apart because i buy these in bulk okay or i used to i don't anymore and so anyway what this is a four inch hoop yeah four inch hoop and but you only need half of it now if you're using the part that's got the screw tie on it then you're going to put that one you're going to hide that screw tie down here see and that's how that handle is going to be but then the other piece doesn't have a screw tie so you don't have to worry about hiding anything okay so the next thing what i do is I take this lace that I showed you that I lost. Oh, here it is. And now this is what I call the handle lace. And um, and then I find the end. The end right at this very moment is hiding from me, playing like I get. There it is. Okay, and so you need to have about... Let me see. Let me go around here. I'm going to hot glue this on here. Okay. So we need this much. I used to know these measurements. Oh, look, even my scissors match. I love lavender and purple. And Okay, so here I've got a piece of lace. And it is 12 inches. So that's what you need. Is 12 inches for the handle. Now, if you do not have this kind of lace, you can put, it'll take more time, but you can take one piece of ribbon on this side, one piece of ribbon on that side, and ruffled ribbon, in my opinion, looks prettier. And then, after you put the ribbon, so you have two pieces, on either one on either side, then you can go across the middle with a piece, I mean, you have the lace on either side, then you can go through the middle with a piece of ribbon. So now the unveiling of my new heat gun. Let's see how it works, Deborah. Ooh. It's a shooting through there. 
Oh, it's got to get that glue down in there because this is its first time in action. Maybe it's not. Oh, you know what? It probably has to melt some more because this glue stick was sticking out here. The glue stick was sticking out. So I bet it has to. I bet it has to um, melt some more. It's not melted the piece that just went in there since it's just my brand new, my first time using it. So we'll wait a second in here until that is. Yeah, it's not quite ready. It's not look. It's even got a, like its own little stand built right on there. I like that. That is very good. Now, um, let me see. I'm going to use, see, I've got some lavender little ribbon here. And um, and then I have, I don't have little lavender roses, so I'm going to use one or two of these white ones. And then I like to use beads, these little beads. And I have, I'm going to use gold because I don't have lavender then either. If I, oh, if I have white, maybe I use white. I don't think I have white. I think I have. God, I used to have so much of this, but see, this is, this is like a light blue. Nah, I better not. Because it wouldn't look bad. Pink would look good on there too, but I'm just going to use the gold. That'll give it some pizzazz. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to put another glue stick in there, I believe. It's always like you got to prime a pump, and this is what I got to prime my glue gun. Oh, there it comes. See? Look at that glue. Oh my gosh, that is beauty beyond compare. So I'm going to glue this right down the center, right down the center of that embroidery hoop, and I'm going to glue this. See how when I um oh I gotta be careful not to slam that down. I realize how it makes so much noise then on the video playback. Okay. Okay, and if also um I have my fan going in the background because it is so hot in here, and um, I hope that's not causing anybody any discomfort. Um, I think my husband is going to buy me a small air conditioner to go in this room since all we need is it's just a 10 by 10 room so I don't need much so and we looked at the prices of them last night online and we can get one for like a hundred dollars so um, Walmart or Lowe's or summer okay so now that's the handle see and I've got that covered with the lace. Now the next thing we do, see, because I'm using the the um, the one with the screw on it, I'm going to hide that screw. It's hide and seek. So we'll hide that screw because we don't want that showing. Okay, there's um. I could, if I wanted to, is take. The um and glue that down in there. Just glue it right into the fabric. Or you could sew it if you wanted to. Or the way I've always done, you know what? I gotta pull this tighter. I gotta pull this string down a little tighter because I need a little bit more fluff up at the top. So now if I had my rubber band and used a rubber band, it would really, really be easier because then I could just kind of pull the rubber band. Okay, now 
Now I'm going to put that down in there, the handle, pull this up, and I'm going to take another piece of string. I don't really want to put glue on it, just in case I want to take it apart and use the wash box if I don't have any wash box or something. So now I'm going to take a piece of string and I'm going to, any kind of cord that you have, rubber band, anything. And now I'm going to tie it again like I did before. But this time it's tied up above the handle in, in, on top of that embroidery loop. It's on top of it this time. And so that's going to hold that tightly in, the handle tightly into the little basket. See how it's becoming, it's starting to look like a little basket. Do you know these are so simple to make? I um when I was when I was the activity director at my um at ALF, I worked with um pay, residents with Alzheimer's and other related dementias, the memory care unit they called it. And so and I had one of these baskets that I carried around with me and I was telling the ladies in the craft, in our little crafting group, now remember, these are ladies with dementia, with memory issues, that we were gonna make one of these. Well, the nursing staff, they were like against me for some reason, I don't know why, but that's okay, I wasn't there for them, I was there for the residents. And um, I would tell them, now don't forget to come to craft class because we're going to make these. Now, I have those little nursing girls, the resident assistants, they would say, there is no way they're going to be able to make that. And I said, yes, there will. You watch us. We're going to make them. And we did. We went once. Well, actually, for them, I didn't have them use the hot glue. I had the, glue, the lace already glued on. But they chose their colors and, and that kind of thing. Okay, now... See, now you've got a basket. See there, there, it's got the handle. Now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take a piece of this. Now here, this lace that I have is, is ribbon and lace. And so this is going to go around, around the basket. But before I put it around, if your lace is gathered enough, which even some of my lace that I've gathered up, like I gathered this, I've got a machine that ruffles lace. And um, this is ruffled pretty good. Actually, the ribbon ruffled more than the lace did. Because my machine just always gave me a hard time. And so... What I do with this then is I get a needle and get it out of my needle. There's a needle in this pouch because I really would like to use a plastic needle and this one will work. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh, God, I got this cough, and every time I cough, the side of my head hurts. Okay, now. <laughs> I just thought of something. My brother, my brother's used. Oh, here's a plastic needle. I'm going to use this one. My brothers were so mean. <laughs> I just, when I said I cough and my head hurts, they used to say things to me like, well, they said it to everybody, not just me, but they'd say, does your face hurt? And I'd say, no, it's all right. And they'd, well, it's killing me. You know, they was mean. They was mean. Brothers is mean. They dry, draw ugly faces on my dolls and stuff. Okay, now I just put the piece of that embroidery floss through the needle. And then always when you get your ruffled lace, it's got a header on it. And you can take that needle and you can fit it right through that header that's on that lace. That um, Now, if you're using flat lace, if you 
cut it. Now, right now, I just cut a piece that's about nine inches long. That's going to go around the middle. But now, if you use, if you have flat lace, you can use that to just get your needle and some thread, and then just kind of in and out stitch it all the way through, and then pull it, and and you'll have gathered lace, ruffled lace. Now this isn't wanting to give me, this is wanting to give me a little hard time. It's not bad though, it's not bad. Not enough to complain, not enough to lose any sleepovers. So we're going to just keep going till I get it through. And I will get it through because I'm determined. I'm a determined person. Determined. So I'm getting this right through here and my arthritic thumb is trying to yell at me. See that? Oh, geez, right there, right there. Mm -hmm. You young people, you enjoy your youth. Because once you use up your youth, you don't get it back. Some people think there's a fountain of youth somewhere. Nah. I have a bottle of water that my daughter brought me back home from um, St. Augustine one time. And it says that it's water out of the fountain of youth. But yeah, it's sitting up in my cupboard. I guess I'm supposed to drink it. I don't know. But um, what the heck, you know, you're as young as you feel. And you know how young I feel today? Let me see, I'm 68 years old. I feel 67. That's pretty young. Okay, now, I got, now I've got my thread brought all the way through my um, lace. Now, like I say, if you, if you use flat lace, you can you can use any kind of lace because even if you have flat lace you can pull you can just in and out st stitch all the way across and um and and um and it'll gather itself up okay so now i'm just going to take that and I'm gonna tie it around there and i went under the well yeah it, the only place i can go is under the handle and so, but, and so then tie that good, I mean, you need to use like a good touch, strong um, string, you know, so when you pull on it, you it doesn't break. You don't want it to break or anything like that. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Okay, now, so you give that a nice good tug on there. Make sure that's on there tight. And like you're tying on an apron. Did I say that twice? Okay, now. There we go. Now, she's got her apron on. And there you go. And then you just kind of even it up around to make it beautiful. See there? So now it's got the lace around the center. So on the, the, the it, I got these two colors matching. So it really doesn't matter that I don't have the lavender washcloth here. It doesn't matter. The white is just fine on there. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is the next thing I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take two of these flowers, these two little roses, the two little roses. And you know what? I also have this. I wonder if I've got any lavender in here. Oh, I do. Here's a lavender. Do I have two lavenders? And here's another one. Just what the doctor ordered. Oh, but they got two different colors of ribbon. Will that be? Here's another lavender. Okay, that matches that one. Do I hear a truck outside? I hope it's them tree guys coming to fix, trim our tree. Okay, now. So now what I'm going to do, these here little ribbons, I mean, roses have the long um, wire on them. And so I'm just wrapping that wire around this plastic needle and pull that out. And then it just looks like a little tendril. I think that's what that's called, tendril. 
And so, so yep, and so I'm going to do that with those two, like that. Okay, now, so I'm going to have the two little roses, like this. Then I'm going to take a piece of this ribbon. This is, and, and any kind of ribbon, I mean, this is a narrow ribbon, I'm using this narrow, and I'm going to... Quit clanking that, Elizabeth. You're driving people crazy. Now, I'm going to take that ribbon right there and I'm going to tie it around these two roses and make a bow. If I can get these chubby fingers to work as I want them to. Okay, so I'm gonna make a little bow. Oh, you know, oh no, never mind. I don't need that yet. Okay. So I'm just going to make a little bow here, like I'm tying my shoe. Everybody makes their bows different. There's a few ways of making bows, but this is the way I do mine. Okay, so I've got my little bow. Almost. I almost have my little bow. You know what, Elizabeth Marie? Pull that off of there. I think it... I think, I think... Where did I put that other needle? I must have put that back away. Oh, here's a new pin. Oh, no, that's okay. I'll use this. Oh, here's that other needle. Okay. I have to be real quiet when I'm concentrating. My husband said I should concentrate more often. I don't know why he said that. Huh? That was pretty rude. Okay, now. There, I twisted my two, those so they're together. Now what I'm going to do, see I changed my mind in midstream. Okay, I'm going to take this gold. Let me see, I want about this much. That's about one, two, three, four, five inches. I'm going to cut that right there. It'll be seizes. And then I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm going to tie that right on in the middle, right in the middle of that piece of beading. I'm going to tie it. See there? So there, my ribbon is tied right in the middle of that little piece of beading. Now, see, this is just plastic craft beads that I'm using. But if you've got fancy beads, you go right on with your bad self and make it with fancy beads. But um, I'm not going to do fancy beads. I'm just using these beads right here. Because I have them. Now. Now I'm going to just leave that like this. There. Now, that's better. Now I have to cut this ribbon right here to match the other side. There we go. Now that's beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two ro roses that are supposed to be twisted together, but they've gotten a spat and untwisted. Okay, now. And I'm going to put those right in this. No, I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this first and then the roses. But then I can't see my ribbon. Am I going to put this for the And then, yes. Okay, so I'm going to put the hot glue on the ribbon. Again, now, if you like to sew, you can do this all with needle and thread and stitch it together. But I'm into gluing. So there now, because it's easier, faster, and it's just fine. Now I'm going to take the bow with the golden beads, the bow with the golden beads, and I'm going to take another little bit of hot glue right there. And I'm going to now put that in there. And I want to poke it in there. I want to poke it push it with this little paintbrush handle. 
so it's in there. And there, now, now see if, if these were lavender or white beets, maybe that would have been better. But the gold is okay. Now I'm going to take, no, I'm not, I thought I was going to put, I am. I'm going to put one little, see, then once you, you know, you can start getting creative with your own little design. You be your own design team. There we go. Now I put that little flower right in the center, and that's very pretty. Okay, then up on the top here, I want another bow. So I will cut my ribbon, and I'm going to just tie a little bow. Like this. Thusly. Okay, and then let me nip off that extra little lint right there. And now this will go right on the top. I'm going to put right on the top just a little bow there just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. And then that other little flower I have, I'm going to put that right in the middle of that bow. Now, I hope this is understandable to you. Um, Mary, I think you were one that asked me. I don't remember now. Okay. And look how pretty that is right on the top. Okay. And there it is. That's all it takes. And like I said, I had my beautiful residents that had issues with memory and they loved doing this. Of course, I had them wanted it, you know, one step. I didn't put more than one item in front of them at a time. I put the one washcloth there. Then I went with the next washcloth. We went through one step at a time. And each one of them were went back to their apartment with this beautiful little soap dish, soap holder. And that's what that is. See there? And they're so pretty. And these also make really nice gifts. Now I do, now I'm pedaling again. I just really don't really want to pedal. I, I do have, like I have these packages listed in my Etsy. There is some lavender on this one. Um, these don't have ribbon. This is just the lace. But I have those on my Etsy. And I'm going to get this handle lace, the double lace. I'm going to be putting some of this up too. And hopefully I'll get that done today. But today is family day. So I've got to make sure I have dinner cooked and ready for my family when they come tonight. And so, but I wanted to get this here video made for you all. So that um, those who asked will have the directions on how to make this little basket. Okay, now, I'm going to read today from the book I got from Sidney Utter that is called You Are Stronger Than You Know. Words of hope and encouragement for someone living with a chronic illness. And so, let me see if I just... Okay, I just like to open the book. Sometimes I might read the same one over again, but I like to just open the book and, and pick out a page to read. And so here's my page. I always got to get me a little thing here. My eyes go jumping around. Okay, when you need some help to get through, when nothing is going right, when you're wondering, what did I do to deserve this? When the day is a disaster and a little serenity is just what you're after, when you need a whole lot less to concern you and a whole lot more to smile about with a few peaceful hours would seem like a vacation to you. Would. No. I'm sorry that I can't tap read. Let me start that over. I got tongue-tied. My 
tongue was wrapping around my eye teeth. I couldn't see what it was saying. Okay. When you need some help to get through, take two. When nothing is going right, when you're wondering, what did I do to deserve this? When the day is a disaster and a little serenity is just what you're after. When you need a whole lot less to concern you and a whole lot more to smile about. When a few peaceful hours would seem like a vacation to you and you're wondering if there's anything you've got to look forward to, sometimes you just have to remember you're going to make it. You're going to make it through this day, even if it is one step at a time. Sometimes you just have to be patient and brave and strong. If you don't know how, just make it up as you go along. And that was written by Colin, Colin McCarty. And that is really, really good. My daughter-in-law today is going through some tests and we're praying that she does not have breast cancer. And so I think I need to send her that message right there because she is really nervous this morning. Okay, so anyhow, that is from the book, You Are Stronger Than You Know. And so many words of hope and encouragement um, are in this book. And so I'm glad to share that with you. I'm glad that Cindy Otter sent it to me and shared this book with me. Okay, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and watching me build this. Now, I hope that you may build some yourself. They make beautiful gifts. You can give at um, Christmas time or, you know, birthdays or just thinking about you. And um, I do love them. I just think they're so pretty and so simple to make. So I want to say God bless you. And let me watch over you every step you take and every move you make. And I will see your happy faces on the next video. God bless.